Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about Mesh by Amazon Keyword Research. Let's get right into it. If it's your first time, welcome. My name is Oliver and I'm bringing you tips and tricks on how to succeed with Mesh by Amazon or any other print on demand. In the last two videos, we found out the Flamingo niche was a good seller. So if you didn't get a chance to watch those videos, please, uh, when you are done with this one, I will leave a link and you can go back to watch them. And by the way, I created a Facebook group. So I will leave the link below in the description. So if you get a chance, uh, you can go, in, go there and uh, Enter the group. So today we're gonna talk about keyword research for the Flamingo niche. To look for keyword research for the Flamingo niche, what you're gonna do is to open an incognito mode and you go to Amazon.com. You change your country, you enter the zip code. I'm using this one because it's a New York zip code, but you can any, enter any one you want. Or if you are targeting UK, you can enter UK zip code. And since we are targeting the Flamingo niche, what I'm going to do is to type in Flamingo T-shirt. What I'm doing here is to first gather the quotes, okay? Because I don't know what quote will sell. I don't know what quote will enter into my criteria. I want to list all the quotes that people are using, that people are already buying or not that are based on the Flamingo niche. For example, we can see WhatsApp flockers. We can see that's it. I put my foot down. We can see uh, my spirit animal is a grumpy Flamingo. So all these codes, you're gonna gather them. To save time, I gather a few codes here so that we can work with them. On this table, as you can see, we have on column A here the codes. On column B, the Amazon competition page one for the specific code. The Amazon BSR on page one. The Amazon competition on page three. And the number of search on Google. When I'm done with the code, I'm gonna look now for the specific, for other keywords. You have to put yourself in the shoes of the customer. If a customer go to Amazon and he want to buy for a specific t-shirt based on Flamingo niche, he may tap Flamingo t-shirt. And the keyword that you can see here on the left, Flamingo t-shirt for a girl, for a woman, for a man, and so on, you're gonna download all of them. You're gonna copy every single one of them. Okay? Flamingo t-shirt, you're, you you're gonna change it for to and get Flamingo gift. You're gonna copy each one of them. You can, again, use, for example, cute Flamingo. You can see cute Flamingo that you have, or cool, Flamingo, you're gonna enter those, or, or you're gonna, you're gonna download all this one. For me to save time, I'm using a paid tool which is called Keyword Tool Dominator. They have a lot of keyword tools for Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Google, and so on. The one I'm using uh, is uh, the one I'm using uh, the Amazon Keyword Tool as well, as well as the Google Keyword Tool. Okay, so using the Amazon Keyword Tool, what I do because I want to save time is the only reason because in this business, either you invest your time or invest your money. Okay. When I started to have uh, money, I directly bought this tool, which is very useful for me and it make me save time. Okay. So if you are interested, you have the link in the description below, but even if you don't want to buy it now, they have, you can use it for free, but it's just limited to two searches per day. So you can do your keyword and do a bit of manual and a bit of automatic with this one. So in this one, what I will do, I will type in Flamingo star shirt and I'll click on search. Here he is doing multiple search with multiple variation to find all the combination available Amazon that people are typing to find. And I'm gonna type in cute 
Costa Flamingo, Cool Flamingo, etc. Ok, I have a list, I have a list here of uh, prefix that I'm gonna use. You can pause the video right now, copy all of them. For example, you can see funny, cool, fun, distressed, vintage, sarcastic, cute, dad, mom, mother, grandpa, and so on. Okay, so you're gonna use, for example, as I said, funny flamingo, grandpa flamingo, uncle flamingo, son flamingo, each one of them. I'm gonna enter each one of them here on the keyword tool in, in the keyword tool dominator because I have the pay tool. I, go, I can do multiple, but for you, it's gonna be only limited to two searches per day. Uh, the one that you can do in this tool, you will do, and the other one you're gonna do it. You, you're gonna uh, download them manually. I found out that I will find much more keywords with this tool. That that's why I'm using it as well as the, the time saving. So. Once you have all your keywords here, as you can see, we have a, I have a long list here. I'm going to download all of them. I'm going to copy the keywords and I'm going to add them in my list here. Okay. Now, for each one of them, for each of those keywords, what I'll do, if I take the first one, for example, I copy it, I go to Amazon. I paste it here. I'll add t-shirt at the end. Now I see the competition. Here you can see 190. I'm not using the only uh, Amazon product because what I want to do is the real competition. Okay, people when they are going on Amazon, they are not looking for specifically for Amazon t-shirt, for match by Amazon t-shirt. They go directly on the old department and then type in. Uh, flamingo t-shirt in this example okay so 190 what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add here the competition on page one 190 average bsr to find that i'm gonna use the product or chrome extension this one is the lowest bsr the highest and we can see here the average bsr it's 800k i'm gonna copy that paste that here paste that here now competition on page three, you go down and you click on the page three here. Sometimes you will have much more competition, but we can see here 190, okay? 190 and as you can see, not all, it's not all the, all the coat, the coat is not on all the t-shirt. So this means that I certainly have less competition for this specific phrase, but I'm gonna paste it anyway, okay? Because these are real competition. As per Amazon, these keyword, those t-shirts are competing with this one. What we have to understand and what we want to make sure is that people are really typing this, this keyword to find t-shirts on Amazon. As you can see, I can see that people are typing always be yourself unless you can be a flamingo. So I can see that people are really typing it. That's why I keep it on my keywords and on my keyword list here as well as the competition. So I have the competition on page one, the average BSR, the 190, and I will do the same thing for each one of them. Let's take the other one. That's it. I put my foot down. I can put that. That's it. I put my, I'm, I'm putting my foot down. People, I am not typing it, but I will take it anyway. Okay. Just to show you what, how you have to fill up the form. We can see that the competition here is 225. So I paste it here. Average BSR, you can see the lowest 29 and the average BSR is 494. So you're going to do the same exercise for each one of them because people are going to type in Amazon, not only the, not always the keywords. They may simply type in cute flamingo decor, flamingo shirt, cute flamingo gift and so on. So that's why we need to have this information. Okay. When you are done with the research of competition, BSR and Amazon, what you got to do you're gonna copy the keyword, not the quote, the keyword, and we we'll, and you will go now to Google, and to do that you will go to keyword the Google Keyword Planner. You're gonna click on the Get Search Volume and Forecast here. You're gonna paste it here. You're gonna get started. You're gonna make sure that your country here is United States. Because I used to forget, okay, to, to check that. And you're gonna have here the competition to export it. 
pay attention this is very important you're gonna click on this arrow and you're gonna click on the csv which is under the plan historic metrics not the plan forecast okay plan historic metrics we have the even on page three have less than 500 competition okay and you're gonna use the one with the lowest bsr ideally we want to have an average bsr that is below 500k but nowadays with all the competition that we have on amazon even if the bsr every bsr is like as long as it is below 1 million you should be able to use it for your listing and your competition and we're gonna do that and in the next video i'm gonna show you how to place those keywords on your listing thank you for your time and have a nice day